Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Brittany and Ray in the last episode of Love After Lockup. So Brittany, she's getting ready and then Ray calls her on the phone and he lets her know that he just got done speaking with his case manager and he's going to be getting out of the halfway house the next day and Brittany is going to go pick him up and they're both super excited for him to get out. Ray has spent over two months in the halfway house so far. He's been doing good, but he has yet to see Brittany's home. So Brittany's really excited for him to finally come and see his home for the first time. So Brittany and Ray are talking on the phone. She's like saying it's been such a long time waiting for him to finally come home to her. And so she's getting ready the house to make space for him to come home. And she's like, have you got your ankle monitor on yet? And he said, no, they're going to put it on me before I get out of the halfway house. And for the next two and a half months, he's going to be on an ankle monitor. And he is not allowed to leave outside like of the house's yard. Like he can go in the front yard. He can go in the backyard, but he can't actually leave like the physical yard. He can't go down the street or around the corner or nothing like that. So Brittany's really, really excited because she's like, hmm, he can't go nowhere. So that means two and a half months of all me time. Ray says he can't wait to see his home and to eat and to hang out with no clothes on and, you know, do their thing in the bedroom. And Brittany keeps throwing around the phrase, what woman wouldn't want their man on home confinement for the next two and a half months? And you know, it may sound fun until you actually experience that, but I'm going to go more into that in a minute. So Brittany and Ray were together for nine months prior to his release. So since he's been in the halfway house for two months, they're going on almost a year together. And Brittany says she hasn't had sex in over a year and a half. But she said when Ray was locked up, they had a lot of phone sex and video chat sex. And she even bought a ring light to put it on her special parts so Ray can see better. And that's pretty sweet and thoughtful of her because a ring light really is a game changer and it makes you look good. Like I got a ring light and oh my gosh, like if I take a picture with my ring light on, I feel like an Instagram model or something. And she said she got a bunch of toys so when he was in prison it made things more spicier. So Brittany said she's looking forward to Ray getting out of the halfway house so they can start having sex every single day and she also said that her and Ray not just her her and Ray are trying to get married ASAP she says she wants to have a big nice wedding she'll go down the aisle with a wedding dress and then afterwards she wants to have like more of a formal party where she can look all sexy and so Brittany asked Ray like Am I going to be the one picking you up? Is it just going to be me? Nobody else is going to be there, right? I'm not going to have to deal with your family. I'm going to be picking you up and you're going to be coming home to me, right? And Ray's like, yep, it's just going to be you. Just you come get me and I'm going to go straight home to you. And he's assuring her that's what was going to happen. And then Ray asked Brittany, so is your family going to come over when I get out of the halfway house and come home? Are they going to come meet me the first day I'm out? And Brittany was like, yeah, they're, they're excited to meet you. They're going to come, come see you as soon as you get home. But, you know, Brittany knows in the back of her head that that's a lie. She's just telling that to Ray so he can feel good. But her mom actually told Brittany that she's not willing to meet Ray until he has something that he can bring to the table and that he's bringing just as much to the table as Brittany is. And we all remember Brittany when she told her family about Ray, her family was like, well, is he going to move in with you? And she's like, no, he's going to go to the halfway house and then he's going to move in with his dad. But really, he's moving in with her the net tomorrow when he gets out of the halfway house and her family has no idea that he's going to be moving in with her. And she's just really scared to tell Ray that her family isn't willing to meet him yet. So she just told Ray it was kind of last minute so she didn't know if her family was going to come the day he got out but she told him that they were going to eventually meet him. So nobody in Brittany's family has any idea that Ray is about to get out of the halfway house but Brittany's sister because Brittany's close with her sister and her sister is pretty nosy and her sister came over and did her hair and makeup the day was Ray, Ray was getting out and they were sitting there talking and Brittany started talking about what girl wouldn't want their man on home confinement all to themselves? 
I'm sorry, if you took a drink when you're watching that show every time she said that phrase, you would be wasted by the end of the show in the last episode. So she's sitting there talking with her sister, and she was telling producers after she talked to her sister, like, I'm, my sister is not going to tell my family about Ray getting out of the halfway house. And then she was looking like she wasn't so sure about her statement she made. She's like, uh, no, she won't. I don't think she will. And so her sister is talking to her and she's like, you know, are you sure you want him to be on home confinement here? And Brittany's like, yeah, why are you saying that? Where else is he going to go? And her sister's like, he can go to his mama's. And she says, you know, I don't know why you're acting like that. And her sister said, I'm just saying when you got to live with people, things are completely different. And that's true. Somebody can put on a mask and act like however the heck they want you to see them and then of course when you live with someone the mask slips and you're gonna finally get to know that real person and see the good side the bad and the ugly so Brittany says this is gonna be the true test if they're meant to be together or not but she feels like everything is gonna work out and be fine so she goes to pick up Ray from the halfway house and like I said we remember she called Ray and she said it's just gonna be me picking you up right your family's not gonna be there you're gonna come straight to my house right and she asked him multiple times and he assured her yes it's just gonna be you well when she pulls up things were completely different she pulls up and I loved her sneakers, her Air Max or whatever, those black and pink ones, those sneakers were cute. But she's sitting there waiting on Ray to get out. She showed up like 30 minutes or an hour early. And she's just waiting on Ray. She sees him about to get out at the doorway. She's all pumped. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Granny pulls in, whipping in the parking lot fast as hell. Granny was swooping in hot. Like she was stealing a parking spot or something. She had a big old grin on her face. Like Brittany's all smiles. Probably all moist and thinking about that 24-7 home confinement D. And ready to get it on in the bedroom. And then Grammy swoops in like got him. <laughs> I was just like oh man Grammy. So Brittany starts walking up to raise grandma to figure out what the heck is going on. And I guess we're going to see next week what goes on with that. But, you know, I understand where Brittany's coming from. She probably hasn't lived with a man for a while. And she wants a partner to be with, their, with her all the time. Kind of like Courtney, you know, to share memories with. Have somebody to do stuff with. But, you know, her talking about what woman want a, want a man on home confinement. You know, you may think you want that. But when you guys are around each other 24-7 then you're going to start wishing that maybe you guys had a break every now and then, you know. Sometimes people need time apart so they can miss each other. And, you know, I don't think, I don't see Brittany being up Ray's butt all the time and being on him 24-7, you know. If he's going to be home confined, I think they can work it out as long as they have their balance between hanging out and him having time for himself. So, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you check out my Jeffree Star summer mystery box unboxing and giveaway video so you can enter my giveaway all the details will be at the end of that video i have the link in the description make sure you turn on the bell notification so you don't miss it when i drop another video and thank you so much for watching